So look, no hands and feet trying to connect, just my elbows and knees here, and Matt goes to escape. Hey, what's up guys? Professor Tom here. I'm here with Matt Rice. We're going to have a look today. We're at an open mat and we're going to have a look today at one of my uh, favorite things to show both advanced students and beginner students alike to emphasize how to hold the back. So let's look at the back control because often people find from the back control that they have a hard time holding it because they're always emphasizing the arms reaching around whether the chokes or seat belts and the hooks reaching around to go for the hooks in position. However, when we actually take our emphasis off the hands and the feet, and we put them on the knees and the elbows, you're gonna get drastic improvements in your ability to hold people. Plus, your control won't be dependent upon your hands and feet, so you can use your hands and feet to do things like body triangles and choke setups and arm bars, all right? So, when I've got this position with Matt, instead of focusing on my hands and my feet, I'm gonna squeeze my knees and elbows in. So watch my feet actually go out. Now, even though I'm not even holding him in a seatbelt here, notice my chin is hooking over his collarbone, my head is pushing into his head, okay? So look, no hands and feet trying to connect, just my elbows and knees here, and Matt goes to escape. I'm totally glued on. Okay, so think about it. We're normally holding him like this, but what's the main part of Matt? Right, his hips and torso. That's the main part of Matt I'm trying to control. And if I'm just trying to hug it front to back, I mean, how much success am I gonna get? Watch what happens, if he puts his arms up here, watch what happens when I actually go knees in. Don't worry about feet in, knees in, watch. Now I've actually controlled this guy. In fact, sometimes, imagine he's a big guy and I couldn't get my hooks in, or maybe he pulled my hooks out, right? Pulls my hooks out. If I still focus on my knees squeezing, I can bring in crab ride hooks here, and now, even if I'm just holding him like this and Matt goes to get out, I've got his torso and his hips controlled. No hips, no hooks needed. And then I can put my hooks in and go for my choke. So one final tip that I find is a lot of people have a hard time getting the choke, and they have a hard time holding it. So what I like to do is I always like to put my thumb facing down, I make sure that bicep is right in the neck, right from the get-go, like that, not here here, okay? And my head is gonna push his head into my bicep at all times, okay? So from this position here, I'm pushing his head into the bicep, and then I can almost make it hard for him to duck his chin. So when he's ducking his chin like this, I can push against it and then finish. So when you get that choke, guys, you're pushing against it, I like to cover the wrist with my own chin, and then I just replace my chin with my fist, reaching for my shoulders, okay? Get the squeeze elbows together, then pull that right elbow back and bring it. Okay, so there's some tips to help you control the back. It's meant to be the best position in jiu-jitsu, yet emphasis on the hooks and the seatbelt can often create a situation where we don't use the knees and the elbows, and ultimately they're our best devices to hold from the back. So give it a shot with your partner, and I think you'll find squeezing the knees and the elbows together will yield you some rapid results. And not only that, when you go to choke them, instead of emphasizing your bicep and your hand coming round, Emphasize your head pushing in. Hold on the chin, replace, shoot the fingers, finish the choke. All right, guys, happy finishing from the back. Don't forget to check out the grapplingacademy.com for free courses we don't have on YouTube, as well as premium, low cost paid courses. And guys, please hit the subscribe button. Hopefully we get to 100,000 uh, subscribers and we can keep giving you guys fresh content for free each and every week. Thank you for your support. I hope to meet you guys around the globe for a roll sometime. Awesome.